Hey y'all, welcome back to the life of Pylia. I'm Pylia. I know we're not doing Second Life today. We're doing Star Citizen. This so I've been playing Second Life for a long time. Like if you watched that um video, the tag one, then you know that like I've been playing Second Life for a long time, like 13 something years. But I also like to play other kinds of games. I have done a few on Red Dead Redemption 2 and I was doing the story mode and then I made it through chapter one and I was like, dog, I really need, uh, I get distracted in that game so easily. Like I tried to record probably four or five different hours of stuff and I would get so distracted that like nothing got done. I would start on a mission and I'd be like, oh, squirrel, and then walk over and start doing something else. So, like, nothing was done. Um, so, we're playing Star Citizen today. It's an open world um, space game. It's been around for a while. There's rumors that eventually it'll be finished, but it may or may not happen. Um, but it's pretty cool. So, you there's basically this little blurb here tells you there's um, four different planets in this in the Stanton system, which is the system that we're in. Um, and they're all owned by corporations. We are on Hurston right now is the planet that we're on. And let's just see how it goes. I had logged in a second ago and had tried to I think change my view with. I don't want a thing. Let's just get up first. Maybe it's control B. I don't know. And I got to turn this global chat off, which I don't know. I've been trying. I don't want to get the global chat. It's it distracting to me right now. Manage. Speed notifications just well maybe I want that but I don't want yeah let's just do that and then F11 see if that'll have it go away anyway um I used to play this game a lot and now I don't remember how to use any of the keys, so you'll see. I keep going and checking the key bindings. I was trying to remember, like, I remember the general place where they are, but I don't remember. So Z is free look. All right. And now I'm crouched down or something. I don't know. All right. Do I need that? I don't need that. Put that away. All right. You know what? Let's just keep moving. Uh, it's going to drive me. I want my chat to go away. Game settings. Cinematic camera. I don't need vibration. Hints I like. Subtitles I like. Graphics. That's fine. Quality. I'm going to change the quality to medium, I guess. Because I want to be... We'll see. Yes, let's do that. Um, we're going to change this to medium, too. Okay. And then let's go back to controls. Mouse sensitivity is super high. Um, okay, so... I got that. I got that. Scan. Cruise. Uh, 
So what's the exclamation point on the free look for? Or not exclamation point, I'm sorry. What's the asterisk on the free look for? Oh, we can just do F4 to cycle the camera view. That might be better for us. All right, I got it now. I wanted to show you... All right. Let's go this way. We just want to be in the middle of the room. Then F4. And then we're going to do the free look. So pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. Go here. All right. So let's get out. I want to go and get my ship. And I want to just kind of... The one thing I've been, because I just re-downloaded this last night, and let's just see. So good so now we got global check it just distracts me and it takes up like so much space on my thing anyway so we're gonna be i'm gonna leave the um jammies up there so what i did last night sorry i'll get back to that was i wanted to be sure i could remember how to fly because the space station in laura bowl here on uh, hurston laura bowl is like the main city on hurston anyway the uh, space station here is kind of a pain to um, land in. Like, there's these special areas. In fact, it took me, like, I don't know, maybe uh, five hours. And then it was someone, I was complaining about it in the, the global chat. And someone, like, came and walked me through doing it. Like, they showed me how to do it. And then they were like, okay, they let me drive their ship. And they were like, you do it now. And that's how I learned how to do it. So like the community itself is really great and they're really good about helping other people and answering questions and stuff like that. So uh, certainly if you enjoy this type of game, then give it a shot. You can always tell who the other players are because they kind of like, I don't know. First of all, most of them are running. I do not enjoy running around very much. Like sometimes I'll do it, but on the whole, you will not find me running around in this game like I'm crazy. I just rather like would move like at this pace and maybe this is I don't even know if this is like a jog or something, but I need to find a armor shop. I know that there's one here somewhere. I think we got to come over here. Maybe we got to go down here. So the other thing, because this game is like all in beta right now, there are a lot of times, oh, let's go to the admin office. Well, no, let's go buy our armor first. Stay focused. Shoot. All right. Um, there are times when they do like a big update or whatever, and so you lose your stuff. So I used to have um, a couple of different ships that I had purchased just making money in game. And then when they did their most recent 
uh, upgrade thing, I, uh, I lost them. That's where we want, do we want to go to reclamation and disposal? We can check it out. I don't know for sure if that's where we want to go, but, oh, we got to go all the way around. But it's pretty cool and they did like a really good job um with the game like my graphics are on medium right now i think it looks really wonderful i had it on high last night and it did okay but oh at tammany and sons is where we want to go that's where i got my stuff last time gosh so we come in here I feel like it was over here. There we go. Yep. Man, I haven't even been in this store in like two years. But. Sure, I know where it is. I think I have 25,000 EU. I think that's what it's called. Whatever their money is. And that's just what you start with when you come back. So let's see what we can find. Every place is going to have armor that's a little bit different. And your different armor is going to be for different things. So, oh, because my health is low. Not unlikely. Um, so we just want to kind of look and see. Um, it's going to be, if there's going to be stuff for different temperatures and stuff like that too. Now I don't know. I remember from before that they were saying that that's going to be something you have to deal with. I don't know if that has actually gone into effect yet or not. So I could be wrong. Um, but I know that at some point it was... Uh, something that had been discussed. Where can I go and just get... Oh. So you go and you look at this is how you do it. I remember now. It's not like Second Life. My bad, guys. So this is what the armor displays will look like if you wanted to look at them over here. And then to actually purchase them, you come over to these consoles. I like to go to the one furthest from the door just because I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. And you um, touch it. Um, so we want to get some, how many of these can I have? These are 99, so let's get a couple of these. I not buy multiple oh select quantity um let's get I'll get five of these I'm not really planning on doing any fighting. And if I do, uh, it's going to be such an ordeal that I don't even know. We're also going to get some oxy pens. So this is um, oxygen. So we're going to do buy on these. I think if anything, we're going to need these more than we need the other. But I'm still just going to get. Oh, I don't need that many. I hit the max. Huh? We'll get five of these too. We'll see which we end up using more of. Okay, so now we got that. Now let's look at some clothing. Oh, we want to get some undersuits. I don't really care about the clothing. 
but I need some undersuits. And so if we click here, you can see like this one has a temperature rating, a damage reduction at 10%. Um, and then it tells you how much they cost too. Um, and they're by different companies. I don't know if you can see if we can find one that like this one's from Caldera. And this one here is from uh Castac Arms. So they're from different companies, which I think is kind of fun. Um, even though, like, they all have the same overall thing. This is a flight suit. A flight suit. Let's go look at the armor. So we got some helmets. We got some backpacks. We want to get a... Um... Is this the backpack we want? I think this is the back that the pack that we want because oh but it's in different colors now so we could get a gray one or an orange one what's this nice two I mean, it's a backpack, right? This one's going to be extra heavy. I, I think that, like, this one would be a better choice for us. So we'll get it in the uh, orange. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be taking so long. Confirm that. All right, and then we also need to get um, some mining tools. So we got that, personal weapons. I just need a mining thing. I don't really need a weapon. Shoot, I don't remember what that's called. But it like, uh, let me scroll through here. It's not a tractor beam. It's like a little, because that's an attachment. Scroll through here now. The little thing, it looks almost like a screwdriver. Let me look it up right quick. This is also how I figured out how to play most of the game. I don't want to watch the video. Oh, multi-tool, that's what we want. How do you use the multi-tool? I don't want that. How do you mine rocks? How do I... How do you... Where is the multi-tool? Dang. Where is multi-tool in Star Citizen? Oh, see, it should be here. We're at Tamani and Sons, so let's look around and see if we can't find it maybe it just isn't right there in that thing maybe it's at like the uh okay
Oh, that's what we want. Yep, confirm purchase. You calm down. I already spent a bunch of money in here. Cool, so it's just right there. Then what are these things? Are these attachments for it? Oh, there's a mining attachment. We're gonna need that. From purchase. Like that. Okay. And then what's this one over here? Just oh. go. Just go. Stop looking and go. This guy is so rude. No. You just don't know how to fight, and I don't like it that you're rude. Alright, so now we're we'll coming out. We got the multi multi tool. Yeah, pretty much. I got it. Thanks. You know, we're not even getting any armor over there. We're just gonna go. <clears throat> Alright. So now we're going to go get our ship. I still got just the base ship. Um, that I got when I made my pledge or whatever. That's not where we want. Did we come that way though? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, I think we did. Is there a sign or something? Just go and see what. What's the what? Workers district. Oh, well, looks like there's a bunch of people hanging out here. That's nice. Go down to the central business district. If nothing else, I know how to get to the spaceport from there. So we'll just take a little ride on this uh, train. I do think that their, uh, their train system is really fun and really well done. We'll just get on here.
I wanted to go to the spaceport, so now I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think I need to get back there. Whatever. Okay, I think I rem I don't know. I think I want to come back to that station and then hop over to that other train. So we'll do that. We gotta wait for the train to go back to that other place. Okay, so I think we're almost there. I'm going to make sure I get off this time. This is all different. Oh, except for these guys are the same. All right, I got it. I know where. Well, I think. Where's this one going? I was right. Then tells you how long until the next now one arrives. Super cool. Stand by and let passengers disembark before boarding. So once we do some mining, we'll come back to the business district so that we can sell our stuff there. And this train's going to take us to the spaceport where we can get our ship.
Really nice. The one thing that I wish is I wish that there was more like actual role play in this game. Like because they're still working on it right now with people like mining or PvP and stuff like that. But not like a lot of actual role play. Which is disappointing because they have some really fantastic ships like space cruise ships and stuff like that. I think there's like a space brothel that um, could be really fun to role play with. But um it's just we're not there yet and it's not the, the developer it's not their problem we're not there yet it's just that the community hasn't gotten hasn't matured to that yet keep hoping okay so we're, now we're at the spaceport we want to go this way And then we're going to go down to the customs area. And a little of this, a little of that. But you see, like, how much walking and stuff there is. Like, this is why people end up running. Because you're always, like, having to go somewhere. And, like, nothing is really, like, super close. So... Get our ship. So the important thing that I remembered last night is you got to remember where you're getting your ship from. So I have this one here. I want to retrieve it. It's hangar nine. All right. So we. I don't know why I was stuck on like hangar one last night. I like went to like one through five before I was like, oh, I don't know where it is. And then I looked and realized that it actually says Hangar 9. So the game was even laughing at me, I feel like. Not like silly Pylia. You should know better. Though I will tell you, my name is Pylia in this game too. So here we are in here, and then you just scroll down to the hangar that is yours. We're nine, so that's the one we're going to select. Then we wait for the elevator. Okay. And then now we are at our ship. So this is just like one of the starter ships that you get when you make your pledge or whatever. Well, it's one of the ones you can choose. So I'm going to enter my ship. Um, but you'll see it's just like space enough for me. There's a bed behind me over here. But um, we're going to go out somewhere. So why am I doing that? Let's get in the pilot seat. I want to go ahead and start our ship. And we want to reach out to... The Lorville landing area to ask if it's okay if we take off. And it's important that you wait for them to say that. Did we turn our ship on? So these doors are opening, they open directly above us here. I'm going to put our landing.
landing gear up. And then I try to just have us go like as close to 90 as we can. Just because we need to get above 10,000 feet in order to actually be in space space. So the closer we are to 90, the closer we are going to be to straight up. If we spin a little bit, that's okay. Because what actually matters is the 90. I mean, that's my understanding. I could be wrong. We have our altitude over on the uh, right hand side. You can see it's going up. We're about at 10,000 feet. Oh, we've almost span upside down. So we just need to pay attention. Now we're over 10,000 feet. And so now that we're up here, you can see, let's get ourselves straightened out a little bit. Oops, wrong way. We're still at a little bit of an angle. That's the sun right in our eyes, so we don't want that. All right, let's turn our speed down. Sometimes you just gotta take a little breath I think if we do, there we go. All right. So now we're at about 11,000 feet. We are not moving in any direction right now. We're going to just tilt it up. We're going to go forward a little bit. I need to turn my engines on, I guess. I just want to get a little bit out of this. maybe we go away from the sun I don't know why I just feel like you shouldn't fly into the sun okay now we're at about 14 I don't even know if it's feet but our altitude from where we were is now 14 um, so what we can do now, we can kind of look around us. I think it is F2. This pulls up a map. You can see where you are on this map by looking at the... Um... Okay, maybe I don't know. But where we want to go, we're going to zoom in. Oh, because we're in Hurston. Where I want to go is, Kristen has some moons. I want to go to one of those moons. There's Microtech right over there, Crusader. All right, here we go. So we could go to Ariel. Now we've selected that. We want to hit, oh, not exit, return to game. Uh, we can hit F2 here. And now we just need to look for Ariel in our view thing here. Let's turn our B on. And if you look down at the, um,
I think we need to get out a little bit further. So let's find a... Do they see these little shapes down here? Microtech. Yes. This is Ida. Let's just go there. That's all right. Kind of a cool moon. So we're going to jump there. of your ship and stuff. That's cool, right? So now we are... Oh, we, we don't have a thing to tell us how far we are away from anything. Mm. Let's just go there, HDMS Rider. Our quantum drive is just going to pull us around the planet a little bit here. And then we'll be able to kind of, it gets you in a close enough zone. And then you can kind of fly in a little bit better. So I'll still leave my quantum drive on because I just like to know how far away I am from it, I guess. Like, I don't know what's at this place. Looks like there's lots of stuff that can be mined around here. We need to get above this rock. So now, this is this a whole other space thing? Yeah, all right. I just wanted to be sure this was the right place. So now that we're here, let's go ahead and we're going to turn our thing all the way down. We're going to do the same thing that we did in uh, other place where we just want to be sure it's okay that we land. Um, I don't think they respond. They just need you to ask. And then you can just pretty much land wherever you want to. So we're just going to keep our... Oh, let's also put our landing gear down now. I'm not the best lander, guys. I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if you figured that out. But I'm not. I know that it gives you like markings where you're supposed to land. You see, I just think that's funny. I try, and in my larger, the our larger ship that I had, I did pretty good. I think oh, I did pretty good with that. Oh, see, I'm not even on. I'm 
I'm trying to get my auto. I crashed my ship. Oh, maybe that's how I was a better at flying. I don't have any. I think I'm about to get disconnected or something. Anyway, you see how it is. I'm going to be playing this game more again just because I find it like so much fun to do. And I like exploring these planets. So definitely going to be doing that. So while I'm just sitting here figuring out what's happening, I just wanted to be sure that I said thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little change from what oh the winds changed. Z, Z. a storm anyway thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure that we're gonna have tons of other star citizen videos where we do fun stuff and maybe we get into some fights with something i don't know um, but i think that would be fun certainly if you play star citizen reach out to me i would love to team up and do some stuff together especially if you got some of those cooler ships i'm a good crewman um but thank you again for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're inclined to do so. And I'll see you next time.